The press filled a theater at New York's Lincoln Center to hear the news everyone knew was coming, and it was music to the ears for many. The popular Apple iPhone, first launched in 2007, is coming to Verizon Wireless. If the press writes something long enough and hard enough, eventually uh, it comes true. The agreement ends AT&T's exclusive relationship with Apple, a partnership that was rocked by a reputation for dropped calls and sluggish data speeds. Millions of consumers hope the Verizon system will be more reliable. Verizon obviously has a lot of confidence in their network since they're allowing something called hotspot tethering. That means you can use this device to get on the internet with other devices like a laptop or a tablet. This is just the beginning of a great relationship between Apple and Verizon. Verizon and Apple say this iPhone isn't ready for the next generation of wireless networks known as 4G. This will use a current technology known as CDMA. That has its own drawbacks, which include no international roaming and no ability to access the internet while on a call. Certainly AT&T is going to have to react. If they don't come up with a, a cooler, better iPhone, then uh, they're going to have to compete on price. A new iPhone usually means long lines at the stores, but Verizon says it is ready with enough phones to meet demand when the iPhone goes on sale in February. For CBS News, I'm Natalie Morris, CNET.com in New York.